Hello student, today we are going to learn NCRT example problem. It's a fifth chapter, fifth problem, class 11 physics we are going to learn. Actually, there are two questions is asked in this problem. Okay, what is the change in momentum and ratio of the change in momentum for both the diagram? Okay, first we will learn one by one. First case, case one. Okay, what is the changing momentum? Case A, case B. Separately we will do. Okay, uh, so it's coming like this. X axis, uh, so mass M mass with u velocity okay after rebounds the bound uh, after uh, the ball hits the wall it's come back okay with the same direction same mass with the same velocity okay m into uh, with the final velocity v we are taken okay now what is a changing uh, momentum actually changing momentum if you want i'm doing for case one okay changing momentum uh, changing momentum is equal to momentum final minus momentum Initial, what is momentum? Initial momentum is equal to mass into velocity. Actually, momentum is equal to mass into velocity. Right now, we are finding change in momentum. So, changing momentum. What is final momentum? If you are taken, the ball going is positive means coming back is negative. Okay. If in case going is negative means coming back is positive. Okay. So, uh, I am taken going is negative according to the NCRT. Coming back is a positive okay that means final velocity is going to be positive initial velocity is going to be negative why we should take it like that because of velocity is a scalar quantity so momentum final minus momentum initial what is final momentum mass into final velocity what is initial momentum mass into initial velocity when initial velocity is there you should take it negative that's it okay m v initial and final both is same only okay minus it's going to be minus times of u minus minus is going to be plus both velocity is same two times of mu it is called changing momentum in case going velocity if you are taken uh, positive coming back is negative means totally minus two times of mu that also can be correct answer so changing minus two times of mu also can be correct answer okay now case one we completed again i am going to do with the case 2 it is at the angle of 30 degree so you should take it when the angle is given at 30 degree uh, it's it's getting hitting on the wall is with 30 degree okay uh, it's bounce back is 30 degree okay so from the normal you should take it as a resolution now how i am going to take it resolution just to see uh, so first we will take it initial momentum changing momentum we can take it momentum final minus momentum initial so like this ball is coming now mass into initial velocity okay so 30 degree now i am taken only x axis changing velocity with the x axis okay so what is x axis this uh, uh, adjacent side of this triangle is going to be represented as the x axis x direction this direction okay y direction it will be this y we will be seeing later okay adjacent side uh, so hypotenuse i know m times of u if you want adjacent adjacent is equal to uh, mv cos theta because hypotenuse times of cos theta here what is hypotenuse hypotenuse of this triangle is going to be mu so adjacent is equal to mu cos theta okay initially we are taken initial velocity is uh, this side we are taken as a negative okay we initially i said how we are taken as negative okay because velocity is a vector quantity okay then when it is going back okay uh, mass into final velocity now also this is will be 30 degree so again for this second triangle also i am taken as a adjacent side okay second triangle this is second triangle so adjacent side of the triangle it's bounced back okay mass into final velocity like this will be there okay if you want what is adjacent adjacent is equal to hypotenuse times of cos theta what is hypotenuse m times of v actually u and v will be the same already they are given okay for final velocity adjacent is equal to minus m u cos 30 okay very simple logic only now what is change in momentum final minus initial no uh, so when the come ball comes in positive ball goes out sorry ball comes in negative goes out we have to take it as a positive opposite sign this is going to be positive sorry okay uh, now what is the changing momentum changing momentum is going to be momentum final minus momentum initial what is final m uh, v cos 30 what is initial minus of minus m u cos 30 actually u and v will be the same minus minus will become plus 2 times of m u cos 30 
this is going to be changing momentum at x axis what about y axis so y axis if you want the adjacent opposite side of the triangle is going to give us a y axis automatically that will be cancel each other okay automatically that will be cancel each other there is no point of discussing with y axis only you can discuss about the y axis x axis okay now changing momentum x axis to mu cos 30 okay now they ask ratio between first and second case this is second case already first case i know two times of mu so ratio between first case and second case a uh, change in momentum of x axis at second case we'll take it second case change in momentum of um, x axis with the first case okay it's going to be two times of mu cos theta recently we found already we found two times of mu so two two get cancel mm get cancel u u get cancel actually final answer we are going to get about the cos 30 cos 30 will have root 3 by 2 okay the cos 30 will have root 3 by 2 in case if you are taken first case by second case 2 by root 3 that's very simple okay opposite condition also you can find okay uh, thank you for watching my video watch, my, thank you for watching my channel if you like my channel please subscribe thank you